Tucker Antico is in for him tonight, and people are watching your forecast very closely, mm -hmm. Tucker, because it's so important right now. Yeah, that's right. And you know, we we love these high stakes forecasts. We love keeping you informed. And I would love to tell you our weather is going to stay the same as it has been the past several days, but it's May. And changes occur just as frequently as uh, uh, passes in the race. Temperatures are going to be sitting in the 60s tonight, and we're going to stay mild as we head into tomorrow morning. But that's partially because clouds begin to build and a few showers work their way in by early tomorrow morning. So make sure you're ready, at least if you're heading out the door early on, actually at any point in the morning, that you have something like an umbrella or a rain jacket handy. A few thin clouds will be across the state through the rest of the evening, but most of the cloud cover won't begin to build until after dark. And you can see some of those thicker clouds building right now into southern Illinois. And of course, those are moving our direction right now. Same with the rain and this entire low pressure system. It's a slow mover, unfortunately, and that means while it will be working its way in tomorrow, it's going to take a couple days for it to actually get in and get out of here, which will prolong some of this rainier weather, which you're right now seeing to our west. So be prepared again for some more gray weather as we head into the middle of this week and perhaps take advantage of the beautiful day we've seen so far. It's 74 outside, still nice and dry, and of course, very sunny out there. Temperatures, because it's sunny, have been warmer across Indiana than they have across really almost the entire Midwest. In fact, on our map right now, Indianapolis is the warmest spot says something about how nice the weather has been today. And the humidity has been low here too, but with the southerly wind, we're going to see those numbers increase. We'll talk about temperatures tomorrow here, and we'll begin the day again mild around the mid-60s. Then during the daytime, even with more clouds, we should be able to get to the upper 70s, but that will come again with that increase in humidity. As far as rain showers go, they'll be off and on through the morning. Clouds will dominate most of the day, but you'll still see some peaks of sun, especially in the afternoon, but that will allow for some storms to pop up. And in the afternoon and evening, while I'm not expecting severe weather, there could still be a few strong storms mixed in there. I mentioned that low pressure system is a slow mover, but we're going to see that rain kind of hang around through much of Thursday, even into Friday, still a chance for those showers and storms. How much rain, though? How much are we going to see? Let's take a look here at CBS4 Future View. And as you can see for yourself, uh, we're not talking about a ton of rain, and you're noticing a lot of these streaks, too. That's because a lot of this is going to be off and on showers, not a huge uh, persistent rainfall. So while it may downpour for about 20, 30 minutes, it's not going to be a persistent all day rain, even though, again, we have rain in the forecast through Friday here. The good news, though, is that even though rain is in the forecast, things improve at the right time. Saturday, we get back to the upper 70s, and this weekend, Sunday, it's going to be hot, but dry, comfortable, and great weather for the race.